Right, hello. This quick video is all about giving you a few instructions and a few tips on how to draw parallel lines using uh, your set squares and a ruler. Um, if you haven't got the proper geometry equipment, what we'll do is we'll show you how to make up a set square using a piece of cardboard, either something like that from a box or the back of a, an old book cover if you like um, and all you'll need is your piece of cardboard some scissors and a ruler um, and once you've done once you've got all those things we can make up your new set square okay so if you've got your geometry kit what we'll do is we'll open it up and we'll get out the right equipment that we need so inside mine I've got a, a letter stencil I've got a ruler I'll put that aside we'll use that We've got these triangle looking things which are called set squares and we've got our protractor, we're not going to use that today. We've got a pencil and a ruler, a set of dividers, a compass and a sharpener. So everything we need to do our basic geometry work. Okay, so I'm going to take, I've got a pencil, nice soft one, so I'll use that one. I'll grab the rubber and put the protractor back because we're not going to use that and I'll just leave the set squares out for now. Okay, now a little bit about your set squares. We've got two. This first one is exactly half of a square. Now, if I got another one the same size, that would form a square around there. If we cut a square across the diagonal, then we end up with two 45 degree angles. So the two angles in the corners of the triangle are 45 degrees and that square angle there is a right angle. So all of your set squares have a right angle and two other angles. Very handy to draw 45 degree angles and we use that a lot. The other set square has a, a 60 degree angle and a 30 degree angle. Um, 30 degrees and 60 degrees are used um, a lot in maths and engineering and all sorts of things um, and they're very, they're very handy as well. Why is it 60 degrees? Because if I got another one of those, flipped it over and put it there, the two next to each other would form an equilateral triangle. I'd have 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So that's where that one comes from, some basic geometry. Okay, using our set squares to draw parallel lines. What we're going to do is use a technique called sliding set square. and all we need is we need a ruler or some sort of straight edge, it doesn't need to be a ruler. We need to be able to put our set square on it and slide it along like that. If we keep our ruler still, because that angle never changes on your set square because it's fixed, everywhere you draw a line, if I draw a line like that, then I draw another line like that, then I draw another line like that, they're always parallel. If I want to draw lines at a different angle, I can use my 60 degree, 30 degree set square and do that. Now notice when I'm moving it, I'm making sure one hand holds the ruler and the other hand very lightly is moving the set square. Then I'm holding both the set square and the ruler with this hand. These fingers are squashed on there or get all my fingertips and I hold the ruler with finger and thumb and a couple of fingers on the set square so it's nice and firm and then I draw the line like that okay and that's how I'm getting my parallel lines okay easy enough now there's a couple of tips when we do these shapes because we're going to be drawing a shapes in an oblique projection and an oblique projection you recall is something where we basically we draw the front face I'm going to call it flat then we draw parallel lines at 45 degrees, measure the same distance up there, and then we join those up. So each of these lines are 45 degrees. Those 45 degree lines there, they're all parallel. Okay, but what we're going to do, we'll find that what we'll do is we'll draw one then we'll 
let go of our equipment and then we'll draw the other one so I'll give you a few tips so that everything stays nice and square okay so the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how to draw a rectangular prism using oblique projection so the first thing we need we need a baseline now by baseline I mean the line where I'm going to always hold my ruler okay so that if I move my ruler I can put my ruler back there exactly where it was before so what I do then is I'm going to draw the front face of my rectangle so I'm going to draw it from there to there today we're not too worried about dimensions we're just worried about the technique of drawing prisms using oblique projection now a rectangle has got 90 degree corners so that's what I'm going to use this set square for I'm going to slide that along till it gets to the end of the line draw a line up and I'm, I'm going to cheat I'm going to use the lines in the book one two three four I'm going to count up five lines flip the set square over come up to the other end go up one two three four five lines and draw that down there then I'm going to use my ruler and connect those up now comes the oblique projection part line our ruler back up again and we need to <coughs> draw our projection lines out like that nice and long and I haven't talked about how far back we're going yet have I so I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute all right so what I'm going to do now huh, is I'm going to grab my dividers out here now our divider a pair of dividers is the instrument that has the two points on it and they're really handy for transferring measurements that you don't draw anything with two points but you can measure things with them now if I want to go back up here say four centimeters I can set my dividers very carefully to a measurement of four centimeters then without moving them I can put one end of the dividers on one end of the line and then mark on the other with the other end of the dividers and I'm going to just draw a pencil line there you could use a compass too um, it's probably just as practical or even more practical to use a compass and we'll do that just like that okay and then all we need to do now is join those up like that and there we have our oblique projection just like that and if you want to rub out your construction lines those lines that we drew at the beginning were nice and light and that's what we refer to as construction lines okay I was a bit wasn't quite as accurate as I could have been there I'm a little bit off the line but that's our rectangular prism in oblique projection where that angle there is 45 degrees okay some key points that helped us out today we used our set square that has got a 45 degree angle in it and a 90 degree angle for drawing our vertical lines which are perpendicular or 90 degrees to our horizontal lines we drew a line that we could line it keep lining our ruler back up to and we used that technique called sliding set square to slide the set square along the ruler and draw our parallel lines like that once you get the hang of that you won't have any problems with this sort of construction okay if you haven't got your own geometry equipment 
watch the quick video on how to make some set squares out of cardboard. Thanks very much for watching.